Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjalayamal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vinni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture on solution and discussion on UPSC Engineering Service exam, Examination Question Paper in Gas Power Cycle Part 3 and this is lecture number 18. The first question from 2015 question paper. The maximum net specific work obtainable in an ideal baritone cycle for T max equal to 900 Kelvin and T minimum equal to 400 Kelvin is given by. There are four options are given. And this is the baritone cycle temperature entropy diagram of the baritone cycle. The answer to the question T3 is the maximum temperature which is 900 Kelvin. T1 is the minimum temperature of the cycle which is 400 Kelvin. For maximum work output the temperature T2 which is equal to T4 for ideal condition T2 equal to T4 which is equal to T1 T3 to the power 0.5 that is square root of T1 T3. So, substituting given numerical value 900 into 400 to the power 0 0.5 equal to 600 Kelvin. So, the temperature T2 equal to 600 Kelvin and the work done W equal to turbine work minus the compressor work. So, substituting turbine work is Cp into T3 minus T4. So, the turbine work is T3 minus T4 minus Cp into T2 minus T1. The compressor work is T2 minus T1. Substitute numerical value Cp is the unknown. Cp multiplied by T3 is 900 minus T4 equal to 600 minus T2 equal to 600 minus into minus plus 400 equal to 100 Cp. So, the answer to the problem is 100 Cp. So, option A is the correct answer. The next question from 2015 question paper. An open cycle gas turbine uses a fuel of calorific value 40,000 kilojoules per kilogram with the air fuel ratio of 80 is to 1 and develops a net to work output of 80 kilojoules per kilogram of air. The thermal efficiency of the cycle. There are four options 12 percentage, 16 percentage, 20 percentage, 18 percentage. We calculate the answer. The work done per kg of air W equal to 80 kilojoules per kilogram of air. Heat separate per kg of air Q equal to 40,000 divided by 80. So, the this 80 is the air fuel ratio. So, 40 this is 500 kilojoules per kg of air. Thermal efficiency eta equal to W by Q that is net to work output divided by the heat supplied 80 divided by 500 equal to 0 0.16 which is 16 percentage. So, the answer is option B 16 percentage. The next is a question from 2016 question paper. In a gas turbine cycle, the turbine work output is 600 kilojoules per kilogram. The compressor work is 400 kilojoules per kilogram and heat supplied is 1000 kilojoules per kilogram. The thermal efficiency of the cycle is, there are four options, 20 percentage, 30 percentage, 40 percentage, 50 percentage. We calculate the answer. The efficiency of the gas turbine cycle, eta equal to turbine work minus compressor work divided by the heat supplied. So, the turbine work is given as 600 kilojoules per kilogram, compressor work is given as 400 kilojoules per kilogram, heat supplied is given as 1000. So, 600 minus 400 divided by 1000 equal to 0 0.2 which is 20 percentage. So, the answer is option A 20 percentage. The efficiency of the gas turbine cycle is 20 percentage. The next question paper. An ideal closed cycle gas turbine plant is working between the temperatures of 927 degrees Celsius and 27 degrees Celsius using air as the working fluid. The pressure ratio for maximum work output. So, this is 11.3, 13.3, 15.3, 17.3. So, this is the temperature entropy diagram of the Bariton cycle and uh, the answer, we calculate the answer. T3, the maximum temperature of the cycle is given as 927 degree Celsius which is 1200 Kelvin. T1, the minimum temperature of the cycle which is 27 degree Celsius that is 300 Kelvin. For maximum work output, the temperature T2, the temperature at the end of the compression T2 equal to T4. So, for ideal condition T2 equal to T4 which is square root of T1, T3. So, that is T1, T3 to the power 0 0.5. Substituting numerical value is 1200 into 300 to the power 0 0.5 equal to 600 Kelvin. 
Now the pressure ratio P2 by P1 equal to T2 by T1 to the power gamma by gamma minus 1. Substituting 600 divided by 300 to the power, we take gamma equal to 1.4 for air. So 1.4 divided by 1.4 minus 1 equal to 11.3. So the option is 11.3. The pressure ratio for maximum work output is 11.3. The next question from 2020 question paper, air enters the compressor of a gas turbine plant operating on baryton cycle at 1 bar and 27 degrees Celsius. The pressure ratio of the cycle is 6. If the relation between the turbine work WT and compressor work WC is WT equal to 3 times of WC and the gamma equal to 1.4, the cycle efficiency is nearly 40 percentage, 50 percentage, 60 percentage and 70 percentage. We calculate the answer. The efficiency of Bereton cycle eta equal to 1 minus 1 by R. The pressure ratio Rp or R, R the pressure ratio to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma which is 1 minus 1 by 1, 6 to the power 1.4 minus 1 divided by 1 1.4 equal to 0 0.4 which is 40 percentage. The correct answer is 40 percentage option A. The next question from 2021 question paper, in a gas turbine plant, heat supplied is 667.2 kJ per kilogram and heat rejected is 391.43 kJ per kilogram. What is the thermal efficiency of the plant? There are four options given, 57.29 percentage, 72.51 percentage, 41.33 percentage, 32.83 percentage. We calculate the efficiency of the gas turbine cycle. Eta equal to heat supplied minus heat rejected divided by the heat supplied. Substituting 667.2 minus 391.43 divided by 667.2 equal to 0 0.4133 which is 41.33 percentage. The correct answer is option C 41.33 percentage. So the next question from 2018 question paper. There are two statements. Statement 1. The air field ratio employed in gas turbine turbine is around 60 is to 1 and the statement 2, a lean mixture of 60 is to 1 in a gas turbine is mainly used for complete combustion. So there are four options given, both the statement 1 and 2 are individually true and the statement 2 is correct explanation of statement 1. Both the statement 1 and 2 are individually true but the statement 2 is not the correct explanation of statement 1. Statement 1 is true but the statement 2 is false. Then statement 1 is false, but the statement 2 is true. So the correct answer is statement 1 is true, but the statement 2 is false. So the statement 1, air field ratio is employed in the gas turbine is around 60 is to 1. That is correct. But lean mixture of 60 to 1 is mainly used for complete combustion. That statement is wrong. The next question, statement 1 from 2018 question paper to statement 1. Reheating between high pressure and the low pressure gas turbine increases the turbine work. Reheating between the high pressure and low pressure turbine increases the turbine work. So, the statement is true. Statement 2, the constant pressure line TS diagram diverges away from the origin. The statement 2 is also correct. So, the correct option is both the statement 1 and 2 are individually true but the statement 2 is not the correct explanation of statement 1. So, the two statements are individually true. The next question, Lenoyer cycle is used for gas turbine, pulse jet engine, SI engine, CA engine and this is the Lenoyer cycle. There are three processes, 1 to 2. 1 to 2 is the constant volume heat addition, 2 to 3 is the expansion, polytropic adiabatic expansion and the 3 to 1 is constant pressure heat rejection and this cycle is used for pulse jet engine. The next is a question from 2015 question paper, consider the following statement, Carnot, Erickson and Stirling cycles are ideal power plant cycle, power cycles that are completely reversible. Statement 2, Erickson cycle is not a practical engine cycle. Statement 3, Settling cycle is, is what only practical cycle among the above. Statement 4, all the cycles have the same thermal efficiency. Which of the above statements are correct? So the statement 1, 2, 4, they are correct. 
So the one is Carnot Erickson Serling cycle or ideal cycles that are completely reversible. So, so the statement is correct. Erickson cycle is not practical practical engine cycle. So that is also true. And the Serling cycle only practical cycle among the above. That is not correct. So Serling cycle is also a theoretical cycle. So all the cycles have the same thermal efficiency. Uh, that is also true. So the answer is the statement 1, 2, 4 they are true. They are correct. Option B is the correct answer. Next question from 2015 question paper. Consider the following statement regarding cycles. Number 1. Statement 1. Serling cycle consists of 2 isothermal and 2 adiabatic process. Statement 2. In vapor compression cycle, refrigerant is in the form of dry saturated vapor before entering the compressor. Diesel cycle consists of 1 constant pressure, 1 constant volume and 2 isentropic processes. Which of the above statements are correct? Option A, 1, 2, 3. Option B, 1 and 2. Option C, 1 and 3. And option D, 2 and 3. The correct answer is option 2 and 3. So, the first statement, Serling cycle consists of 2 isothermal and 2 adiabatic process. That is not correct. So, 2 isothermal and 2 adiabatic process, that is for the Carnot cycle. The vapor compression cycle, in the vapor compression cycle, the refrigerant is in the form of dry saturated vapor before entering the compressor. At the entry of the compressor, it is dry saturated vapor. Option statement 3, diesel cycle consists of one constant pressure, one constant volume and two isentropic process. So, statement 2 and 3 are correct, one is wrong. The next question from 2015 question paper, consider the following statement. The only practical way of improving the efficiency of auto cycle is to increase the compression ratio of the internal combustion engine. Statement 2. Erickson cycle needs heat transfer in all the processes. Statement 3. Erickson cycle and the Stirling cycle employ regenerative heat exchanger for reversible heat transfer. Number 4. Atkinson, Atkinson cycle has the greater specific work than comparable auto cycle engine. Which of the above statements are correct? So, all the four statements are correct. So, the increase the efficiency, to increase the efficiency of the auto cycle, we have to increase the compression ratio. Erickson cycle need heat transfer in all the four processes. Erickson cycle and Serling cycle employ regenerative heat exchanger for reversible heat transfer. And Atkinson cycle has the greater specific work than the auto cycle engine. All the four statements are correct. So, we stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject and I upload the video lectures of all the subjects in the YouTube channel. You subscribe the channel, use the videos for your better learning. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments on the comments box. You can contact me through my mail ID or WhatsApp number for any clarification of the subject. We will meet again in another video lecture on the solution of UPSC engineering service exam question paper. Until then, bye.